Well, hello, Stampin' Up! Facebook followers, and thanks for joining my From Paula's Desk Bulletin. I'm excited to tell you about a new product line we're adding to our offering. It's called My Digital Studio, or in short, MDS. And MDS allows you to further explore your creative journey with Stamping Up only in digital form. It's an exclusive digital designing software, and the software already comes with lots of content to help you get started. Also, we have a huge library of digital downloads too, so there's lots to get excited about. And what I'm going to do is show you how easy it is to use MDS. So I'm going to start by opening a new project. I'm going to click File and New Project and I can then select the category that I want. And I'm going to go with Cards and Tags. Click that and then I'm going to click Tag. And then I'm going to opt for a portrait tag, I think. So I'll click there. Now I can choose from a selection of designer templates or I can custom design my own tag. But I think I'm going to go with the designer template. So I simply click designer templates and then I'm going to scroll down to see if I can find a template that I like for my gift tag and I think I'm going to opt with this um, this one here the hearts because I like hearts so I'm going to simply click it click next and then I need to give my project a name so I'm going to call it cute tags click finish and there you go, that creates the base there of my gift tag. Now, if you look to the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you'll see that there are two pages here. The first one represents the front side of my tag, and, um, and the second one is the blank side, which is obviously the reverse side of my tag. Now, what I'd like to do is to add some embellishments to my gift tag. So I'm going to uh, move over to the left of my screen to the resource palette, and I'm going to select the punches category and then um, I can choose to browse the categories but I can see that um, labels were selected on a previous project so I'm just going to scroll down and, and see which of the labels that I like and I think I'm going to go with this one which is the decorative label punch so I'm going to double click and you can see that it pops the label right into the gift tag there. Now the label's um, fairly large and so I'd like to just slightly downsize that like so and then I can just reposition it to wherever I want on my gift tag there. Now um, another great functionality that I'd like to uh, show you is um, how to um, colour your punch and I'm going to use um, something called um, match colour. So I simply click onto the label there and then uh, click this option to the right of the screen called match colour and what match colour enables me to do is to pull in a colour from the designer background there. So I think I'm going to opt to go with this one. I simply click, then OK, and you can see that it immediately changes the colour of my label there. OK, and I'm just going to move it slightly down. OK. Now the next thing um, I'm going to do is I really like the 3D um, effects and um, there's another great functionality on MDS that allows you to create a drop shadow. So I'm going to move over to the right of my screen and click drop shadow and this then will enable me to adjust these little tabs here okay, to create this 3D effect to OK that and there you can see already that it's popped the uh, label image right out to give this um, 3D effect. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'd like to add a sentiment to my label so I'm going to move over to the left of my screen to the resource palette and I'm going to select the stamps category. Now again I can see that uh, we have used um, some sentiments on a previous project and I think I rather like those so I'm going to use the thank you double click and you can see that it pops it right onto the gift tag now I'm going to just slightly downsize the thank you and then reposition it on my label like that and I not sure that I like the black there on thank you so what I'm going to do is I am going to use the match color again and bring in another color I think I'm going to go with a darker color so I'll select that one there I click OK and you can see that it immediately changes the color of my thank you now I would like to add just a couple more embellishments so I'm going to go back over to the resource palette here on the left 
uh, and select the punches category again and browse to see what categories we have and there you go we have a hearts category so I think I'm just going to have to go with that one okay so I'm going to open the heart category and then select a punch that I like and I think I'm going to go um, with the small heart punch so I'm going to double click and you can see that it pops the heart straight onto my gift tag I'm going to slightly downsize that again and another great functionality is that I can rotate the image as well so I'm going to slightly rotate the heart image and I'm going to pop it into the corner there and again using the match color I'm going to change the color of my heart and I just love how everything coordinates with Stampin' Up! So there you go. I've changed the color of my heart um, and I do like a little bit of bling. So I'd like to add a little gem to the center of my heart there. So again, I'm going to move over to the left to the resource palette and the category, uh, uh, category I'm going to select is the embellishments category. So I'm going to click on that and again, there's no need to browse because I can see that we used uh, some rhinestones on a previous project. So I'm going to select the rhinestone and just double click. And again, it, it pops it straight onto the gift tag there. I'm going to slightly downsize that again. And then what I'm going to do is just move the uh, gem there to be centered on my heart. And there you go, a simple gift tag made in just minutes. So if you would like to find out more about MDS, then I encourage you to contact your local demonstrator or visit stampinup.co.uk to find out more. We're offering a um, 30-day free trial. So if you'd like to find out more, I encourage you to contact someone today. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.